I'm going to just pick up this new central machinery 6 liter ultrasonic parts cleaner out of Harbor Freight. Uh, the packaging looks new, so I'm going to try it out. Alright, well, it was very well packed. It was in there so tight I had to break half the styrofoam to get it out. Uh, it's got a lid, stainless steel tray, power cord, and some instructions. So I guess the first step is to figure out what to put in there for cleaning. Now, there's no real indication in the manual of what to use. So I found some laundry detergent, or sorry, dishwashing detergent. Um, our newest dishwasher doesn't use this detergent anymore. They, it mostly uses pods. So we'll see if this, if this works. I also pulled out my collection of disgusting car hardware. So we'll throw some, some bolts in here and some detergent in there and give it a shot and see what happens. These are all a little bit gunky. They're not too bad. We'll see if it does any, anything to help them out. Nothing here to get something going. All right, well that's done. Let's see what we got. All right. well, you can see there's a bunch of crud in the water there. Everything's warmed up a little bit. It's look pretty clean, but again, these are these are nuts and bolts, so they weren't terribly filthy to begin with. Uh, there's a bunch of curl in the water, so I know, I know stuff came off. <clears throat> While that was running, I went and found something else to give it to, uh, to try. So I don't know if you can see that. This is a heat exchanger and oil pump from a Thunderbird SC. They come apart. They're, they're pretty cruddy. Got a bunch of stuff all over them. I think I can fit them both in here. Uh, may not be deep enough for that. Get them submerged there as, as well as I can. I think I'm going to throw a little bit more detergent in there. Try this again. Let's see, timer. 15 minutes. All right. Let's take a look at what happened here. Well, It's cleaner, but there's still a lot of grease on it. A lot of gunk. Alright. Poured water all over my instruction manual here. That's good.
This should be interesting. Okay, well, the areas where it was underneath look cleaner, but in all these seams, all these edges, it's still gunked up with dirt. I don't think that the uh, dish detergent was able to cut the grease and stuff. Uh, clearly, though, the water's all black, so it's got did something. So we're going to try a few other things. Let's see if we can get those parts a little cleaner. All right, let's well, a nice little ball valve on the side that lets me drain everything out into a bucket. So I drain that. I'm going to put these pieces back in. This is the uh, heat exchanger and the oil pump. And this time, hopefully, we'll get them fully submerged. Some fresh hot water. So this is a six liter container. I'm pouring in a full one gallon jug of water. So I get the parts. And it just about reaches the top of that basket. Okay. So the next trick, I'm gonna try this dollar store uh, dish soap sometimes used for cleaning car parts. Let's see if a little bit of that does anything for me. Um, it's been in the cold, it's frozen, so it's still got, it's got some stuff suspended in it. Who knows, maybe the uh, ultrasonics will uh, break that up a bit. We'll see. Here goes nothing. Again, 20 more minutes. All right, second round, this time with the cheapo detergent. Let's see what things look like. Lots of dirt in the water, that's a good sign. Wow. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's much cleaner than it was before. The seams are much cleaner. I'll make another run through like that and it'll be in good shape. The Ford logo is pretty clean too, so it's getting into all the little cracks and crevices. Pretty happy with that. So the well, it's a little greasy on this from here. Dish detergent is standard dish detergent is better than the dishwashing solution. Dishwasher detergent. Let's see what this one looks like. Again, it's got some greasy stuff. You probably can't see it. In here, there's still some grease, greasy mess. Up in here, still greasy. Um, but it's, a, it's doing better than the uh, dishwasher detergent. I'm going to give me the part number. <clears throat> you can see just how just how dirty that water is. It's 
pretty gross. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, drain that, try that again. Um, the reason I'm not using something like Simple Green or I get some purple power here is those, those don't do well with aluminum. They will over time eat through the aluminum. So um, you know, aluminum parts like this, dish soap is probably good enough. If you're doing steel and stainless, you can probably use simple green or purple power. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, we're almost to the dishwasher to turn it again. Let's, this time we'll go in five minute increments up to 30 minutes. Set up for 20 minutes again. And start. All right, so that finished up. There's another 20 minutes there. Let's see. This thing is not perfect, but it is pretty clean. Almost all the dirt is gone from all the crevices, all the grease and gunk. Some of these things, like the threads, are still a little greasy. Uh, maybe a little bit of dirt up in here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, certainly much easier than hand cleaning it. <clears throat> this part still has some grease. This is much cleaner in here. Right. There's still some grease in this in the, this adapter section here. Um, there's a snap ring that could have taken this apart. And there's still some crud on the surface. Water's kind of brown, so you can know it's doing some cleaning. Um, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. If I really wanted to do a good job, I, could, I can go back through with some stronger cleaner. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, so again, this is the Central Machinery 6 liter ultrasonic parts cleaner. I'm not sure if it's a new item. It's item 59430. Uh, the packaging is new. I just found it in the store yesterday. Uh, and the instruction manual says the uh, copyright's 2022, so it, it may be a newer model. I'm not sure. Uh, what would I use this for? Well, cleaning car parts. I think if you had to do carburetors, small detail parts, this would be perfect. Um, I'm going to use it for cleaning the gunk out of these crevices and parts like this. Um, or I can't even get a toothbrush in, in, in some of these places. And this seems to have done a pretty good job. You know, I can even read the part numbers. You know, the Ford logo is looking pretty good. Uh, I've got you know, brake calipers and other things that are probably going to be a good, good fit for this. Uh, nuts and bolts. Maybe pistons, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's about $170. Probably worth it if you're doing this a lot. <clears throat> I do like the size. This is the six, six liter one. They have ones about half the size. Um, but it's mostly plastic. This is all stainless steel. Seems pretty sturdy. So we'll see how long it lasts. All right, thanks for watching.